Hi, um, I'm Sue Graywolf Petruzzi. I am, he's sitting here with my two other grandchildren, um, Logan Joseph Gabor and Carter J. Gabor. Um, Logan's going to be seven on Monday, but we're celebrating today. And Carter's going to be five. In <laughs> when are you going to be five? You no. November. November. Okay. Nineteen. Yeah. So I'm just going to ask these guys a couple questions and see um, see what happens. Um, first off, how are you? Good. Good. How about you, Carter? Good. You good? That's awesome. Now I want to ask you, um, what is the most important animal on this planet to you? Um, have you ever thought about it? Probably not. I'm thinking. Okay. Bees. The bee. Why do you think the bee is important? They make honey for us. Yeah. Honeybees. They do. They most definitely do. They do other things too. They're very important. Um, do you know? Do you know what they do for us? Yeah. Um, we should like, make flowers okay. um, so the honeybees can come down and get what is this called? Pollen? Is that what? the word? Pollen? I think. Yeah. Pollen. And then they bring it to the honeybee and then the honeybee puts it in its mouth. Then um, people come around to like get the bees and put it on a sleepy thing. Then um, they get collect the honey. Then they take it the moth. Wow, that's good. You know a lot about bees. Wow, that's excellent. I got stung by five bees. Oh, yeah, that that hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, do you? Do you understand or do you, what do you think a sanctuary is? I have no clue. You <laughs> have no clue. How about if I give you a hint? Okay. Um, some of the national parks that we have, like the Rocky National Park where Grammy, Grammy lives in the Rocky Mountains. Yeah. That's a sanctuary because it protects the land um, from being built on. It protects the trees and the animals. Oh, so um, you're talking about the mountains you can't build um, houses on, mm -hmm. and not to, um, there's trees on it, and then so the people can't cut down the trees because if people did cut down the trees um, and build a house on it, the house would just go fall and collapse <laughs> yeah. down the whole uh -huh. mountain. Because a mountain is like lumpy. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's very true. How about Carter? Uh, yeah, Carter. What is your fam favorite well, animal? The most important animal to you. <laughs> uh, what do you think the most important animal on the planet is? <laughs> I've never done this. I know. I've never done this. <laughs> Do you like any particular animal that you know? There are the animals. What kind? Okay, what one do you like? Yeah, a cow. A cow? What did you say? Did you say a cow? A cow? Yeah. Oh, that's what um, that's what Bailey said too. Interesting. Huh. I think honeybees, they make a lot of sweet things. Yeah. You know that why they're so important? Because without the bees, um, our plants, you know, our you know, where tomatoes come, where beans, our vegetables, our yeah. flowers. Yeah, um, they just don't go get anything. Yeah, yeah. And so the bees come and make them. Yeah. 
And without um, without the plants, do you think we could survive if we didn't have something to, the plants to eat? No. -uh. <laughs> right. Then we would die. Yeah. We need to help vegetables. Yeah, we do. We certainly do. Like cucumbers. Do you think there's that something is. we can learn from watching the animals? Mm, yeah. Like what? Mm. Tough question. <laughs> <laughs> Tough question, okay. Um, what could you learn from a bee? Um, go to each plant. Yeah. Well, us ones are good for plants too. Mm -hmm. uh, what, are, what are good for plants? Earthworms. Earthworms, yeah. They're very important too. Why do you think they're important? What? Why do you think earthworms are so important? They make even trees grow. If we didn't have trees, we would <laughs> die every time we go outside. Mm -hmm. Um, and they make plants be big and cheese humongous and healthy. Mm -hmm. And they're all underground and... and That's where nobody can get them. Right, and what they do underground, they make little channels. And did you know that they make hearts underground? They do? Yeah, when, as they're moving around, they can make hearts underground. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's fun. And they can, like, make mining. Oh. Uh-huh, they could. They could make letters. Have you ever picked up a, a branch and saw all the lines in the branch once the bark came off? Have you ever looked at a stick really close? If you, if you ever do, if you pick it up, you can see all the lines and you can actually see letters and circles and hearts and everything in the branches. Well, I wish I can do that. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Yeah? You like it, the outdoors? You like being outside? Yeah. Better than inside. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Do you get the chance to, um, what do you, uh, what are you learning in school right now? Do you, do, what do they, do they teach you um, about nature? Yeah. And do they teach you about other cultures, other, other? Community. Community? Yeah. Yeah? And tools and other stuff. Yeah. When you think of a community, what do you think of? Fire truck. Police officers. Yeah. We didn't have them. No. The, all the bad guys would take everybody's money. <laughs> and okay. Is it a place where people can, can live and families can live together? A community? A house. Yeah. And even a building. And schools, if there's Homeless. Okay. Or um, school. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm, that's pretty much it. Is there anything that you want to say to uh, any of us that are older? How you would like to see the world? Oh, I would love to see the world. <laughs> I just want to see. Those mountains. <laughs> yeah, in January. Yeah. Well, when I say see in the world, how would you like the world, what would you like the world to look like when you get older? A lot of trees. And a lot of, a lot of plants. Yeah. And a lot of houses. Yeah. And a, and the the beach would be bigger. That's one. <laughs> bigger bees. <laughs> okay. And bigger bees.